Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm driving back to Cardiff from Bryston. Uh, so shoot about three and a half, four hours. Then I'm going to be doing a lower body session um, at Synergy Gym, which we're really excited about. So I'm going to show you guys what week three of training is going to be like today. All right, guys. So just about to leave. This is a the state of my car in terms of how much stuff I'm bringing back. Um, I might try and just do the trip all in one go. But if I get hungry, then I'll go and stop at a service station and then eat my like pasta, chicken and bacon, which I made last night. Um, if not, be there for about three and a half hours and then unpack and then go to train. All right, guys, so I have just stopped off at the service station uh, about an hour away from Cardiff. So just outside Bath at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go for a quick toilet because I'm bursting and then eat my pasta and then get back in the car then arrive should be arriving uh probably three o'clock i think by the time i leave the service station and then i'll pack, unpack and uh get ready for my low body session all right guys so welcome to the workout so we're starting off with squats We've got five eights at 115 this is about 64.5 percent of my predicted one rate max for march so these are pretty easy as you can see, um, probably an RPE 6, 7, so for next week I'm going to go up by 2.5 kilo to 117.5 and see how that goes for 3 sets of 8. Now we go on to after this, um, exposure support squats which is 3 threes at 110, once again very easy, actually pausing now so that's obviously good, um, I'm really happy with that. Along with this, I did um, some RDLs. I did two sets of 12 at 100. So the way I execute an RDL is that I normally have the bar over the midline of my foot. The reason for this is so I feel I kind of feel like a better connection <clears throat> with my hamstring, um, which is why I do it. I know some people do it close to the shin, but this is how I've been taught and how it really works well for me in terms of hamstring development. Um, after this, the leg extensions. Now, I incorporated the machine, which is normally for posterior chain development, um, but I put a band around it and um, made it into a leg extension. Now, I found this was actually a lot better than some leg extension machines I've used in the past, so I'm really happy that I managed to adapt um, the gym equipment which I have at Synergy um, into still incorporating you know, isolation. So after this, um, the hamstring movement, which um, was very, very difficult. So this is sort of like a Nordic. Um, if you haven't done a Nordic before, normally um, someone holds the back of your legs and you basically just come to continue falling down. Now with this machine, which is brilliant, um, is that you can load the plates on it to kind of take the resistance off. So if you're like me, have quite weak hamstrings in terms of this exercise, then you can manipulate it so you are more able to do this exercise as well as you know up in the rep, low in the reps, etc. Um, after this, did some pull throughs, which is obviously focusing on on my glutes, I'm um, really happy with this, did 3 sets of 20, um, which you know, is good development, helping with my sumo, having my stance 
wide in terms of doing um, the pull through, the sort of mimicking the lockout part of my sumo. After this I did a bag extensions and did three sets of 12, relatively easy. Um, I prefer not to go all the way up to parallel because I feel like my glutes take over for the last portion, hence why I stop at this level. Um, just you know, If I'm going to you know, aim for certain muscles to be contracted and working more, then there's no point of doing uh, increase the range of motion and another muscle group to take over. Um, after this, we plank, did two sets for 30 seconds. Now with planks, I'm probably going to change how I do this, but um, key things I'm working on here is keeping my glutes really tight and also um, making sure that my abdominals are tight as well. If you do this properly, you won't be allowed to last two minutes, no chance. You just see people doing two, three minute planks and they're not doing it properly. They're not, you know, you're not engaging their glutes, not engaging their abdominals, and obviously as it's a abdominal, exercise what's the point so that was my workout i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one